Get ready to lose yourself today on the candy aisle because there is nothing more British than the walnut whip. That is right, my friends. Welcome, welcome once again to another review. My name is Jeff. Today we have a review of Nestle's Walnut Whip. I gotta be honest, guys. This is one that had totally flown under my radar. I had honestly never heard of this before. <laughs> um, I have been to the UK since uh, since doing this channel. I think I've been there twice, in fact, uh, in the last you know, whatever, six or seven years that I've been running this channel. But uh, I just did, I never came across this. Maybe I just missed it in the store. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of small. Um, but this is the Walnut Whip. This is a, a classic, apparently a, uh, you know, really an important chocolate confection in the history <laughs> uh, of, uh, of British candy. Um, it is, uh, well, technically it's from Scotland. Uh, from Duncan's of Edinburgh, or W W M Duncan Confections or something. I don't know. It's uh, it was originally created in 1910, um, and then uh, it uh, in the 20s I think it became uh, came under the Roundtree branding, and then Roundtree was acquired by Nestle. But you know, because it was created so long ago, that makes actually at least according to internet. Walnut Whip is technically the oldest confection still produced that Nestle has under its, you know, under its label. Um, like this is, you know, Kit Kat wasn't invented until the 30s. This is a really, really old, old product um, and it's still around. Uh, recently, in, as of the 70s, Nestle stopped branding it as, um, well, they stopped branding it as Dunkin's and then they stopped branding it as Roundtree as well. So now it's Nestle. And more recently, they have removed the nuts from this confection um, to make it uh, probably more accessible to people with nut allergies. Um, however, this is the original, so it should have a walnut on it. What this is apparently is uh, is uh, milk chocolate in like a sort of a cone shape with whipped vanilla fondant inside and topped with a walnut. Yeah, or half a walnut. I guess originally it was like broken pieces of walnuts that had, you know, as they were being, you know, sent out to stores and whatever had broken so they couldn't sell them as whole walnuts. Uh, anyway, that's what the walnut whip theoretically is. So I live in Canada, um, so I got it here, which is why it has some of these extra stickers on it, like, you know, it's got to meet the Canadian... I bought this at, like, a, gro like a grocery store, um, which had, a, like, a, you know, a foreign candy section in it. And so they have to, like, sometimes... When, in the, if, the, if, like, Nestle doesn't want to officially be... Um, this is an import, is what I'm saying. Nestle doesn't release this, although in Canada, even though, of course, Nestle does release candy in Canada. So because this is an import, you just got to throw one of these, like, labels on so that it meets, you know, whatever the Canadian guidelines are. Um, let's get into this now. Like I said, it's vanilla fondant on the inside, apparently. Wait, that's it, right? Oh, I was like, what's going on there? There's something in there. <laughs> it's the walnut. Looks like it came off the top. Well, you can't blame it, I guess. I mean, it did come from, from you know, overseas, theoretically. Um, this would be, like, this would be an actual import as opposed to produced locally in any way. So I guess the walnut just sort of sits, like, here. This is like a, like, almost a whole walnut, isn't that? That is like a whole walnut. Surprising. So it must have come off. But I, that's sort of how it would look normally. These, um, uh, this cool patterning was originally part of the manufacturing process. And then uh, when they, uh, when they originally, part, some sort of way that the way the chocolate was dripped into the molding. And then once they moved the production out of Edinburgh and into um, somewhere else in, I don't know, somewhere in England, um, they, uh, <clears throat> they tried to recreate this patterning, but th they couldn't. So then I think for a while, apparently, they were just smooth, and now they've got the patterning back again, but it's just decorative. It's not any part of the actual manufacturing process. So from what I understand, what the advertisements have told me, <laughs> this is a very, like, indulgent, luxurious kind of a chocolate, and you're supposed to eat it sort of up to finish with the walnut at the top. So we'll just imagine that that's at the top here. But smells... Okay, I don't know how old this is. I mean, I just bought it. Um, I, I, you know, you always got to wonder when it's like an import, when it's an actual import. Let's give it a whirl, though. 
or a whip. Hmm. Okay. I think I should have just gone in from the side. That's weird. Very strange. What is that flavoring? It's uh, like nutty. <laughs> um, I think I should have just gone in from the side. That's really thick chocolate at the bottom. That was mostly chocolate. I'm just going to go into the fondant. Whoa, that's fondant. That's crazy. So like I said, I have never had this before. Um, the, uh, this interior here, I would never guess that that's fondant. I mean, I guess I would guess that it's some kind of a nougat. But it's like, sorry, it's like, um, it's like really so light and fluffy. Look at that. It's just coming right off. All right. I had to, guys. Mm. Um, it's really, really light and airy. Um, they are not kidding when they sort of tout this as sort of a indulgent luxury. It feels like that. Um... I know it's not as popular, but I wonder how this would be if it was like a dark chocolate. Do they make a dark chocolate walnut whip? I have heard that they've been trying other flavors, especially now that Nestle has been making skews of it that I think they're just calling it the Nestle whip that don't have the walnut on it, um, which I totally can appreciate why they would do that. Um, but apparently mint and is it coffee is another flavor and caramel, I think, are flavors. And I could imagine that this um, whipped fondant would make would be great if it was infused with other flavoring on it. It's kind of like um oh falling apart. It's kind of like the interior of like um like one of the uh Russell Stover um like their seasonal Halloween or Valentine's or Easter <coughs> sorry, chocolates, in that it's like a really fluffy, um, it's almost marshmallowy kind of a, kind of a, I guess it is a fondant inside. Um, very surprising. Let me try this all together. Some of this and this and this, you know, you know what I'm saying. Man. Yeah. Okay. Walnut with the whip goes well. Um, I'm not a massive walnut fan. But this is good. Would it be better if there was like um, an alternate? Like I don't want to, you know, step on anyone's toes here. I know people are probably pretty, you know, passionate about this as a chocolate. But what, I mean, would it be better or would it be would it be something worth trying if it had a different nut involved in it? <laughs> like, I mean, the logical choice would be a peanut, but I think that honestly, like if you did this with an almond flavor, that might work really well. Um, and I think almonds are a little more accessible of flavor than uh, walnuts. Just my opinion. You know, I'm sure some people, you know, love this the way it is. Um, for me, it's good. Like, I like it. I don't, I'm not a huge, massive fan of the walnut part of it. It's fine, but that's not really what would draw me here. What draws me here is the, um, is that crazy light whipped fondant. Uh, it's very interesting very good. I kind of wish I had more of it and a little bit less chocolate or certainly less chocolate on the bottom. It feel, felt really, um, overly thick at the bottom. Sometimes that works, like the really thick base of a Kit Kat Chunky, I think is fantastic. But sometimes when they do a really thick base, it's just too much chocolate and you're losing out on the exciting flavors from inside, whatever it is they're, they're making. So for my money, this is good, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say that, you know, I mean, I didn't grow up with it. I don't have like a nostalgia factor for it, which I feel like maybe does exist. You guys let me know if you're from the UK, if you know these this product. Um, 
yeah, I, I don't know. Like it's it's good. It's good, but not great. I guess that's that's really it. <laughs> Would I rather get this or you know a Kit Kat? I'd still rather get a Kit Kat. Also, while the chocolate is um, substantive, the um, the whip inside, while it's really an interesting texture and it's a it's a nice sort of uh, smooth sort of flavor, uh, it's uh, there's not enough of it, right? It's uh, th th there's a weird imbalance here um, in that there's so much density to that chocolate and uh, so little to the rest of the interior. Um, that, I don't know, it just strikes me as like, I don't know, I, uh, a bit, a bit unbalanced, I guess, is really just what I'm getting at. Anyway, that is my take on the Walnut Whip. It's, uh, it's good. Um, and I think that, you know, if you have access to it, it's definitely worth trying. Um, but like I said, I don't have a huge nostalgia sort of feeling towards it and maybe you do let me know uh like is this a part of like you know your your culture if you are from a region where this exists regularly um is this is this a thing <laughs> maybe maybe i'm reading too much into it and i'm just like concerning myself with what their marketing material is trying to tell me how important this product is to uh you know to people uh from the uk i don't know you guys let me know in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. Um, for me, walking the candy aisle, I'm going to rate the Walnut Whip. I'm going to rate it a high three out of five, you know, maybe a four, but um, just because of that really interesting texture. But I don't know. I don't think that it all comes together as well as it could. And I would like to try some of the other Nestle Whip products. A coffee, a strawberry would be great. I think those might be, you know, m might be better just for me personally. That's all. <laughs> anyway. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Please uh, like and subscribe if you have not. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks very much. I'll talk to you next time. So long.